shit. Really? Did he go with this extra? Yeah. He swear I'm the extra one. But look uh, at him right now. He about, uh, to, he about to do this nausea thing that he always do. Every time you say the word Mary, every time you say the word uh, the one, every time you say the word engage, uh, whenever you look at his ring, uh, he does this. Uh, <laughs> wow. Ring, mm. they go the ring. Oh, <laughs> extra. Shit. We get the extra this from him. The Ooh. extra this come from him. How did I know that she was the one? No, I do not know why he's sitting all the way at the back of the bed, but. This is where I will be sitting at currently. <laughs> okay, well, this is our husband tag video. Some people know that we recently got married on Saturday of last week. Show me your ring, baby. And we're so excited. We just want to tell everyone about us. Now that we're official, now that we're husband and wife, and we just gonna ask her some questions and do the husband tag for this video. Okay? You ready to start? Slide over some. <laughs> Is there a blur right here? What blur? I mean, that's the light. That's the light behind I'm you. Light turn. Let me turn that off. Go ahead, though. I, I said that. You can't be moving during the video. <laughs> Ooh, it's, it's the video is going. You can't tell me I don't have to just sit here because you haven't really got started. That's much better. You ready? It seems as if I'm ready already. No, Are you, you ready? can't be because you're the one moving. I do not have to be stationary. This is what we do on a regular. To answer any questions or even talk, I can be on the go. I can move. I do not have to sit like. Yeah. All right, let's start. So, <laughs> how and where did we meet? Are you going to tell the story or you want me to? You tell that story. Yeah, do, are you going to tell no, it? No, you. I know it. You act like you don't know it. Okay, why don't you tell the story? Okay, so we met at a karaoke bar. Um, it was called Upper Dick, and he went there with his coworkers, and I went there with a couple of my friends, and you asked one of your friends to come over and tell me to come to the bar. And at that point, I was playing hard to get, and I told his friend, well, why don't you tell your friend to come over here and talk to me? And his friend said he don't want everybody all up in his business, so it's best if you just come to the bar. Is that true? That is so true. It was, okay. It was she wasn't playing hard to get. She just politely came. No, I did play hard to get. But playing means I wanted to come over there, but I wanted you to know that I ain't that easy of a catch. Well, she came, so it was fairly. I, just I didn't. I didn't go to the table at all. But it took a minute, and he did, no, he didn't come to the table. But it did take a minute for me to come over there. Is that true? 
And then once I went over there, he yeah. offered to buy me a drink. What you finna say? Actually, it took me a minute. Um, if I recall, of course I had on my Kappa Alpha Psi hat, uh, polo hat. I was shooting pool. She ended up being at the bar first before me, actually. So, actually, and she was actually waiting on me to approach the bar. Thank you. I was waiting on you. Yeah. You were already at the bar. She was already sitting at the bar, and I walked up on her. I don't know about it. But anyway, so once we made it up to the bar, he offered to buy me a drink. And at that point in time, I think I had been drinking too much, so I just asked for like a Smirnoff ice. And we exchanged numbers then, didn't we? I think I gave her my number. We didn't exchange. Okay. I think I had it written down and I gave it to her. There were no phones pulled out. I don't remember any. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, it was my friend, Jonathan. I wrote the number down, I gave it to her. Because I wanted to keep it low key. And then, therefore, she texts me, I think, when she But tell him why phone. you wanted to keep it low-key. Let's, no let's be real, because no you had all them chicks from work that was there all up in your business. Even one of them came over to the bar and was like, Chris, Chris, what you buying? You finna buy me a drink? Yeah, I had I had a real security. I had, I had secret service behind me. Secret service so for a girl. I wanted to be discreet. They were very protective. For a girl. Yeah, they were very protective. But I wasn't even the one who was bothering him. The, he it, bothered me. I didn't bother you. But didn't but you saying I went to you? I politely sent a message by my guy, and you followed the message. This is a long how we met story. <laughs> I'm just saying. So that's when we first met. That is how we first met. Um, what was your first impression of me? Hmm. <laughs> My first impression, um... You an OG, keep it real, like you always say. Of course I know I'm you finna... He finna say something rude, though, I know. I'm keep it all the way G. Uh, I thought she was a, a very pretty lady. Oh. Um... She was nice. That was my just my perception of her first. We did a little rap song together, karaoke, so that's what caught my attention. Um, Juvenile yeah. back that thing up. Why? Why in the <laughs> hell? See, this is the type and of I shit. picked the song too. <laughs> that's the type of shit I, I've been dealing with. I met her ass on Back That Ass Up, and I'm still listening to this shit now. The turn up gels. <sighs> that was your first impression of me? Yeah. Um, for real though, my first impression of him is it was so funny because one of my friends started doing the stroll or whatever, the little Kappa stroll, and he kinda like checked him and was like, nah, that ain't, you know, that ain't what's up. And so we didn't know why he said that or whatever, but then he showed his branded K on his arm and we was like, oh, excuse us, excuse us. So that's when I did end up finding out he was um, a noob. Actually, I did not show my K. I had on a Kappa Alpha Psi polo hat. So it was inevitable that I didn't have to do this. It was on my hat. This let y'all know, this story is like- When I just said, Please we don't. we don't even remember this story. I this remember. This was so long she ago. Doesn't remember. I don't I don't remember that. She, clearly she doesn't. This was like five years ago. Mm -hmm. Then what? Um, yeah, this suit on, like he was dressed down to the T, but I was like, he in a bar, you know. But then I was like, okay, he just got off at off of work, and I wasn't into guys into suits and all that. I was into guys that had on like, you know, basketball shorts, real dancey looking, not really professional looking. And it just intrigued me about him that, you know, he was really clean, really fresh and nice looking. And it was just something different out of my scene or my whole 
just being I never was dating guys like that so it really intrigued me about him and that's why I really was excited to you know get his number and him actually look at me you know <laughs> next question carry on <laughs> how and where was our first date now let you take this one me yeah because I know you're going to tell this story wrong. I so, know you're going to tell this wrong. So, our first date was at the Western. Um, I've been shooting other shit for about five, six months. You know, hey, let's go out, blah, blah, blah. We never, I never I never got to it, taking her out. I never got to take her out, I'm not going to lie. I shot her the shit. She's all, oh, okay, yes, yes. Uh, so, you know, I brushed off for months. I saw her on Instagram. I'm like, who is this little cute chick? Oh, I remember. I did talk to her a couple times on FaceTime, you know. So I said, hey, it was my birthday weekend. I said, hey, come join me on my birthday. And she was just like, okay. So we met. Because I felt so special because, you know, he at, you know, he just met me and he's like, come spend my birthday with me. So I felt really, really special. So that's why I was like, okay, since she wanna. She's <laughs> like I was she's, so excited. She was excited every I just time felt I special. asked her. I felt real special. So we met at the Western. Um, she had some color contacts and her eyes purple. Well, she I had this dress now. on and a jean jacket. I already told you about the contacts. Catfish and both. But, yeah, well, we met at the Westin, Thai English pub. Uh, we had a couple of drinks. Um, I'm not sure what she ordered, but we was just chilling, you know, blah blah blah. So I hit her with the, you know, when the tab came, I'm like, oh shit. I left my wallet at home, you know, just to test and see was she a bro chick? Was she a person that went, would cover the bill if I couldn't? Just wanted to I test, like, like test her out and see, you know. So of course I'm like, hey. Damn, I left my, my money out. She's like, oh, okay, I'll pay. I'm like, you know what? Don't worry about it. I pull out a lot of cash. It was $50 too. I was like, oof. It was like boom, boom, you know. Not sure if she was used to that. I don't know. I wasn't. But, I was like $50 for a tail. Oof. So. But I would have paid it though. I ended up paying it. You know, but as we were on the date, you know, we were talking. She consumed a couple of drinks. She began to get louder, so. I was like, what the hell did I just get myself into? She was loud as hell. I'm like, okay. I wasn't embarrassed and loud, so don't let him make y'all think that I'm like real embarrassing. But I do get loud when I've had a couple of juices in me. I do get loud, especially Clearly. laughing. Clearly. So, you know, we hung out at the West Coast. Left. Uh, I think we met back up that night around 8 or 9. We went out to a round martini, met my cousins. We had a good time. Blah, 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 and uh, had a good night. Had a good night. You had a good night? Mm -hmm. Good. All right, next question. Where was our first kiss and how was it? Uh, first kiss was at Real Martini, again. Yeah, she was sitting in the chair. I think she had on some damn purple lipstick then. <laughs> and these damn contacts then. No, my contacts were blue then, actually. And I haven't worn blue since. And you gotta stop wearing The purple this. is a little bit natural to me and the gray that I get. Brown but, and cool. But I really can't see, this really is not like, I just wanna change the color of my brown, eyes. I do wear contacts because brown, I, I need glasses. Brown and clear, it's the <laughs> traditional color. <laughs> yeah, I'm she, fine with she the she color fooled, She fooled that. me. <laughs> she fooled the shit out of me. I'm like, okay, she got excellent eyes. Gorgeous eyes. I see her ass another day. But that should mean nothing, right? My personality should be what's up. But also, you look totally different outside of all this. And I'm just like, yeah, I do. She catfish me again. I do. I can tell her really cute. Don't fall up. Don't fall for the catfish. I promise you. Keep it. Keep the eye on the catfish. Keep the eye. On it. Look natural. Uh, yeah, the first kiss, my opinion, it was great. 
I did have, I was like I said, I was juiced up, but he was looking so good. I just had to give me a taste. So I think I initiated the kiss, but we were, we were literally like this close together and we were just looking at each other. And I've never seen a guy like, you know, just stare at you in your eye. Most girls be creeped out and be like, what, what you want? But it just intrigued me. It was something about him. He just intrigued me for all the things that he did. So when he started looking at me and staring at me like he is now kind of, I'm like, oh my gosh, he's so cute. And I just, I went in for the kiss. I initiated the kiss. I know for a fact I did, but he lot. did kiss me back. That's a lot. I initiated the kiss. You were sitting down. I was sitting down, but and I, was I standing looked up, up at you. I was standing and I, up, and I went in. Okay. Of course, you met me, but I started. Okay. Okay. I'll let you take it. Okay. How did you know I was the one? Well, I'll tell mine. I knew he was the one just based off of his mannerisms because I've never dated, like I said, any, any guy like him. He, you know, would keep it very professional, keep it very gentleman-like, but also, you know, he can get a little ratchet, like I, you know, like I love, but I just like that he knows how to turn it on and turn it off as well as he changed me a little bit. You know, I I just really wasn't, you know, thinking about growing in my career. I wasn't thinking about, you know, what's next in life. I've never had anyone ask me the question in five years from now, where do you see yourself? And being with him, that's how he was. He was on a strict schedule, strict plan. Like, this is what we're going to do. This is how we're going to manage our money. This is how we're going to budget all these things this is where i want to be in the next five years this is where i want to go so it just it was something different and it i feel like it helped me change for the better oh i feel like i'm gonna cry i don't know why i'm about to throw up <laughs> because shit. you so rude that shit took time. i'm about to cry at that this shit took time and effort and it's, it was a storm it was a, a stormy ass storm oh. um but she changed, she switched some things around. She turned Mr. Nice Guy, Chill Guy. And she brought what they call, they call me c mm -hmm. They call me the latest and the greatest. I hid that deep down inside of me and said, I'm gonna be a, let me try this nice guy out. Let me try this nice guy thing out because I was a full-fledged savage. Full-fledged savage, so. Uh, in she, suits though. I was not in suits. I was in suits, I was in ties, I would switch it up, I would be in jeans, fitted hats. I would be in all types of shit, you know. You know, sometimes she would look at me when I'm going to the house for work. I have on my Oxfords, two-tone Oxfords, of course. Sometimes she'd be like, hey, hey, hey. I've never seen this. She, nigga used to flip Nike socks and shit. <laughs> you know, I can wear that, I wear that too, but you know, she used to, Switch the switcheroo shit, you know. I'm gonna give it to her in all facets, you know. Uh, but it was a storm. She weathered the storm. It was a fucking stormy storm, but she weathered it. You know, we argued, we fight because she she cried all over the damn place. I remember this motherfucker was in my grass, just like crying, like, "Don't go, don't go!" Oh my gosh, get <laughs> Say you, motherfucker. Get out of here. I'm sick of your ass. I'm sick of it. I'm telling you, I get it. We have about four or five of them spats. I'm sick of your ass. Get out. Get your ass up. Don't go. This motherfucker, I promise, she used to mop the floor with her clothes. That's how she used to be all over the floor. Don't go. Jesus, help me. She used to pray. She ain't goddamn ain't had like Jesus in her ass. Jesus, help me. Jesus. Yeah. But... Uh, you know, she said she wanted to get married. She said she wanted to move to the next level. Whatever, you know, that took time. That it took did. a lot of time. But what uh, really pushed her over the edge uh, to where I said, you know, I can see myself with her for the long term is uh, she met my kids. Uh, 
she loved them, she, even though she has never been around kids or really taking care of them. So she she adapted and she learned fast. And um, I love you, Cooper and Chloe. She learned fast. Um, when I saw, she's selfish. She was very selfish. She, she was selfish. I right? still am. Yeah, she still is, but I get off in her ass because she don't want this. this but when I care out. about people, the selfishness uh, goes out the you door. You know, but when I saw her, uh, you know, at the mall or at the store, she would come home with just clothes and things for them. And she would spend her last dollar on them. Uh, you know, they kind of showed me, that, okay. Okay, and I, I can see where this is going. And uh, she showed great effort in um, loving and providing for for them, which is very key because it really wasn't about me. It was about me, but if she wasn't able to provide uh, love or take care of them when I'm around or not around, it was no hope. So uh, I think that was the key. So that was very key to um, taking it to the next level, so to speak. That's so sweet, honey. That was so sweet. How long have we been together? Hmm. Relationship first, uh, and then marriage. But as we said, we just got married. We just Saturday, got married March thirty so. first, so we've been married for about five days. Yeah, now. literally. <laughs> you know, we've been in. We was engaged for what year A and year. three months. Mm -hmm. uh, we was. Take your time, ladies, when it comes to engagement. Take your time, especially if you're planning your wedding by yourself. Um, overall, we've been together four and a half, five years. Um, so, yeah. Long time. Yeah. Two. Yeah. Four and a half, yeah. I would say first year, friends, dating, blah, blah, blah. You know, then she hit me with, I want to be your girlfriend. <laughs> I'm like, well, show me. So, yeah, that's how they went, you know. Um, children, uh, it says, how many do you want? Excuse me. So, right now, between the both of us, he has two, a boy and a girl, Chloe and Cooper. And then, of course, we have our fur babies. Those don't count as babies. They're fur babies. Those don't count. Champ and Bella. Those don't um, but <laughs> when we a couple of years ago, I think like two or three years ago, I expressed to him pretty much I wanted a clan. I wanted, you know, probably about four children. And as you see, his neck is rolling, his eyes are getting lazy. But yes, I I do. I want four kids. I want two boys and two girls. But I may sacrifice and say to a boy and a girl because he has a boy and a girl and I love them like they're my own. So I am I will say two at the minimum and make sure they're a boy and a girl. If they're not a boy and a girl, more than likely we're going to try again until we get that sex that we want. So he's probably going to have a heart attack. Two max. That's two it. minimum. That is max. I'm already sacrificing because I wanted four. He has a boy and a girl, she, like I said, which is all, my own, which she, I love is my own too, but I want to birth. <laughs> in order to birth. A boy and a girl. She's going to have to get herself right mentally, financially. I mean, that she got to stay her ass off Fashion Nova. She got to stay her <laughs> ass off Victoria's Secret. She got to stay her ass off a of shoe boutique. She got to stay her ass off of anything. Lola's. That, all that shit, she is... She can't do that, you know, and she has come up with a game plan. If she wants this to be put in her, she got to come up with a game plan for me. It's all about It's all strategy. right, I'll trap him one day, y'all. Strategize, strategize, Next fool question. Me once, fool me once, shame on me. <laughs> Ain't no fooling me twice. <laughs> Unless I want to. So, that's it. <laughs> uh, she's supposed to have these questions in line, yo. She's been, by the way, she's been begging me to do this shit for like a couple months now. Then when I finally say, hey, let's do it, she is not prepared. So let me just take over, you know. 
<laughs> Apologize if I say anything I don't mean. Singing ass. We can all have some fun. What baby. is something I do that you wish I wouldn't? Oh. <laughs> Shit. Oh, fuck. Oh, I can write a book on this shit. You a lie. Oh, I can write a book on it. You a lie. One thing. One thing. First, yeah. stop random damn contact. Okay, that's all you can say. Only one. Don't go through the whole well, fuck list. Fuck it. Let me tell you. What's the real thing? Quit wearing them damn eyelashes. Ah, shit. Anytime you got natural eyelashes that's about this long already, but you want to extend them bitches to this long? She, she can't even see. No. Anywho. Um, something that... That I wish you wouldn't do is... Okay, so Chris wants me to be more opinionated and just say how I feel instead of suggest or hum or mom or um, mm, I don't know, uh. He just wants me to be more vocal in what I want because I try to just, you know, go with the flow. And Chris will say, well, which way do we should go, baby? And I'll be like, well, you know, since we over here, let's go left. And Chris will end up going right. And you'll be like, why did you even ask me in the first place if you was going to go the way that you said you going? Well, first of all, when I ask that question, neither one of us are from down here. Yeah, we've been down here before. So it's just like we brainstorm. It's like, okay, you choose. And she says, I, I, I've never been from, I've never been here. Not from here. Hell, me either. But shit, which way you want to go? So okay, she, and then when, when I she make gave, a decision. When she gave that sorry decision left, no, I'm going to go right. Because she just gave me a decision that she really didn't want to make. I want an accurate decision. Sometimes I want her to leave. What do we argue about the most? What do you think we argue about the most? We argue about her ass shopping. <laughs> That's what the fuck we argue about is her that ain't ass no argument. shopping. Anytime you see somebody that keeps an open cart all week long until payday, Stop it. Stop it. That's the problem. Her philosophy is my money is her money. No. No hell ain't. Y'all know what I'm talking about, ladies. No ladies, you don't know what I'm talking about. I'ma keep me a card up at all times and I'ma say, hey, hey baby, give me a card. That's what I'ma start doing. Give me a card, baby. Shit. Give me a card. And then, as she get tired of that shit, she'll see how I feel. Simple as that. So I'm gonna put the pressure on her. It's my time to shine now. It's my time to say, give me this now. I've given her everything she wanted up until this point. And there has been no cap. So now, everything that she has learned and embedded or watched me do, I'm gonna see if she can take control then maybe we can get a better understanding. Okay. What can I spend hours of doing? Makeup. Yeah. Instagram. Yeah. Facebook. Yeah. Anything social media. Picking up that phone. Though she'll do that consistently. Nigga wake up like this. <laughs> Kills me with it. <laughs> um, I think you can spend hours being with your kids. Can I say that? Of course. That's a, that's. I think that's ultimately the thing you would spend hours doing. I mean, he doesn't be on his phone like that. Watching TV, he you know, he stay on Sports Center, ESPN. So. Being with my kids and her. Yeah. Do that all day. Yeah. That's pretty much it. I see them smile. Yeah. I, I'm able to forgive them what they want. 
that's the highlight of my life. Period. Point blank. That that's what would keep me going and going. Yeah. Aww. Who was the one to say I love you first and where was it? This nigga. I did. I don't know where it was though. I don't remember either. It might have been when we was having sex. She was just like, I love you. No, it wasn't. Was it? No. I think it was. I wouldn't have done that during sex. No. Yeah. No. Yeah, it was. I don't remember. It was it was like in the beginning of our relationship, like beginning, beginning. Mm -hmm. But I know sex. I did say it first. I just, I don't think it was during it was sex. sex. Don't put me out there like that. I'm just saying it was. It was just during sex. I'm sorry. <laughs> she was crying. And she was just like, oh, I love you. <laughs> I was like, what's wrong? She said, I love you. That's how it started. A miss. Well, that's all the questions we have, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in to our channel. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. Make sure you hit the like button as well as put comments down below to just ask us any questions you feel to ask us. We love you guys. Don't forget to watch C. Neil and Bree. As always, you have anything to say, baby? Yo, follow us on Instagram at Bree underscore Hey Gorgeous. gorgeous. At me at CNEA55. Follow us, subscribe to us. We all about loving. We mm -hmm. all about living life to the fullest. Happiness, smiles, making money, making moves, making each other happy, uh, making everybody around us happy. And, you know, hopefully that motivates them to build their relationship, build their brand, also help us build our brand and our relationship because we have goals to accomplish also. So uh, do that. Um, we're about to tune out. We're about to relax for a minute. Good night to you all. Shh. The latest and the greatest. <laughs> the latest pets. Pimp threats. Man's motherfucking regret. We out. Bye, guys.